In today's video, we are going to be cold calling locations to see if we can place a vending machine so I can start my vending machine business. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be looking for locations to place a vending machine. In the last episode of looking for locations for my vending machine business, I physically went out to stores and asked if I could place the machine. But in today's video, I decided to try cold calling because I feel like I could reach a lot more locations a lot faster and I won't have to physically go out. I'm going to try both methods and tell you guys what I think, but for now, I'm just going to be cold calling locations to hopefully find a location for my first vending machine. Moving right into it, the first place that we're going to be calling is a restaurant in my local area. It is not a franchise, which is a lesson I learned from the last episode. I actually went out and pitched franchises and I realized that was a really bad idea because they have to get approval from corporate to do anything to their location that may differ from other franchises. So I'm going to actually just call a regular location, no franchises today, and hopefully we have better luck. Thank you for choosing Lucky Star. This is Danielle. How can I help you? Uh, hello. My name is Will. I was wondering if I could speak with a manager or someone in charge. Um, sure. Let me go see if someone's available. Give me one second. Yep. Thank you. Uh, yes, my name is Will. Um, I was I live in this local area and I was actually curious Would you guys be interested in potentially having like a gumball machine in your location? I've, I've heard it's really good for restaurants, especially restaurants with wait time You know when you guys are busy or something like that you might want you know a gumball machine there because it's just it's just nice when customers are waiting so I was interested if you guys would be interested in just having like a small gumball machine in your location Okay. Is there a number that I can reach you at when I can talk to him about it? Yeah, so actually I could probably drop off a flyer today because I literally live like three or four minutes from from your location. So I could drop by, uh, give you a flyer with my information, and then you can yeah. just kind of hold on to that until the owner gets back from lo uh, from his vacation. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be by later today to drop that off, and I appreciate okay. you taking the time to talk with me today. Yeah, for sure. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, yep. Bye. Okay guys, so it looks like the owner just left for vacation, so that's unfortunate that I didn't catch him ahead of time, but later today I'm going to drop off flyers to all the locations that are potentially interested, and that's something I also learned from the last episode is flyers are great, it makes it look a little bit more professional. I wasn't doing that the first time, and just having a flyer or something with information about your business should really like increase your chances of actually landing a location. So the next place I'm going to be calling is another restaurant. It is a Chinese restaurant in my area. Again, it's not a franchise. I think we have a pretty good chance at closing this one. So I'm going to go ahead and dial right now. Ah, uh, hello. My name's Will, and I was wondering if I could speak to a manager or someone in charge. Oh, so you don't have your manager here today? Yes, no. No? Okay. Okay, so when would he be in, potentially? Uh, I'm not sure. What call from? Okay, so um, I run a vending machine business in this local area, and I was actually curious, would you guys be potentially interested in having one? I've heard they're really good for restaurants, especially ones with wait time. So uh, I was actually interested. Would you guys be interested in a vending machine? Yeah, like a quarter vending machine, like a gumball machine. Oh, okay. Uh, he's not here. Okay, so I'll call back um, like tomorrow around this time. Would he potentially be in? Yeah, you can try tomorrow. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay, so she honestly had no idea. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this happens with cold calling a lot. I had to cold call for a different business and a lot of times employees have no idea when the owner is going to be in because the owner doesn't have to report to anyone and he just comes in when he feels like it. So I'll call back tomorrow or another time and hopefully I get a hold of him. 
Okay, so this third call is also a restaurant and it's gonna be the last restaurant I'm gonna be calling for the day. So I'm gonna type in their number right now. Hopefully we have some luck with them. I mean, the first call I did was definitely a potential yes. The owner just wasn't in. Hopefully I do get a hold of the owner in some of these calls so that I can actually talk to them about the business, kind of make them familiar, and then warm them up to the idea of having a vending machine. And then after I'm, they're kind of warm to the idea, I'm gonna come in and then go for the close. I'm not gonna go for the close on the call unless they're like really interested. So with that all being said, I'm dialing them up right now. Uh, hello, my name's Will, and I was interested in speaking with a manager or someone in charge. Uh, can I ask what this is in relation to? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, my name's Will. I run a local vending machine business, and I was interested if you guys would potentially like want a vending machine in this location. I've heard it's really, really good for restaurants, especially restaurants with wait time that are busy. It's and just I great. I understand, and I will tell you, if you want to talk to him, you can. Yep. But I'm, I will guarantee you he will say no until pass. Okay, yeah, so, are you a little... If you want to talk to him, but I'm the nicer one of the two. Yeah, you know what, I'll go ahead and ask him. Okay. Uh, just, really? just, yeah. Give me one moment. Okay, thank you. David's breaking. Uh, hello, my name's Will. Um, I run a vending machine business in the local area, and I was interested if you guys would, like, potentially want one for your restaurant. Um, I've heard it's really good for restaurants with, like, wait time. So, I was, I was interested, would you mind me, like, coming in later today and talking to you about it? Uh, a vending machine, like a quarter vending machine, like a gumball machine? No, thank you. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Not the nicest guy ever. Like, honestly, like, if I owned a restaurant and people called me, I would not act like that. Very unprofessional in my opinion, but whatever. Uh, that's going to happen with this business. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. And I'm not going to be calling restaurants. I'm going to try and switch things up. This next place I'm going to be calling is in fact a franchise. I said I wasn't going to be calling franchises, but this is actually an insurance franchise, State Farm. But I feel like I've seen vending machines in some State Farms before. So I want to see, is it different for like insurance companies for vending machines if they're a franchise than like restaurants or places like that? I'm just going to go ahead and try it and see. Nothing hurts in trying. Okay, so I'm just going to call back at another time. It doesn't look like they're available right now, which is totally fine. I'm actually going to call the other state farm in my area. Hopefully, I have better luck with that one. Uh, hello, so my name's Will, and I was interested in speaking with a manager or someone in charge really quick. Um, our office manager's with a customer right now. Okay. Can you take a message? Uh, yeah, so my name's Will. I run a vending machine in, like, this local area, and I was interested if you guys would be, like, wondering if you, like, want a vending machine in your location. I hope that makes sense, but, uh... I was interested like in putting like a quarter machine in your location. I've heard they're like really good for like insurance businesses, especially like insurances businesses with like wait time. So I actually wanted to talk to him about it if he would like to be have a vending machine. Um it's probably not something would be we would be interested in, but I can pass the information along. Could I mm -hmm. get your phone number? Uh yes, yeah, so two six two. Four nine two. Okay, Bye. thank you. Just uh, let me know, or I can like come by maybe sometime. But I know he's always busy, right? So um, I might might as well like if you are guys are interested, just give me a call back at that number, and I look forward to hearing from you. All right, you have a great day. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I didn't really sound that good on that call. I kind of messed up my whole pitch, so it sounded really bad. But uh, that's just how it is sometimes with cold calling. You just have to move on. I know, like, it made absolutely no sense, but I can't dwell on that. I'm just going to move on, do a few more calls here, and then we'll call it a day. 
Okay, so this next place we're going to be calling is actually a franchise as well, but it's a bank. And I see vending machines all the time at banks, even if they're franchises. So I'm thinking might as well try one bank franchise. If they say that they can't because they're a franchise, I won't really call banks anymore that are franchises. But since this one is a franchise, I might as well try it because I've definitely seen them in like other banks like this. So we'll see. Uh, yes, my name's Will and I was interested in speaking with like a manager or someone in charge really quick. Sure, um, let me see, that would be with Trevor. Okay. Um, just for a moment. Is this Will? Is this yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually calling about like a, a potentially putting like a gumball machine in your location. I, I do this now, so, um. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I, we, I little do a little bit of both. So it's, it's like a business, but if you got, I actually pay like a 10 to 15% commission and it like goes to the bank or a charity or something like that. So it's, it's a little bit of both. All right. Um, just one minute. Let me see, um, if Trevor's available. All right. Okay. Um, Thank you. Minute. All right. Well, I'm just going to call you back and let you know how much I'm making. Hi, my name's Will, and I was actually curious if you guys would potentially want like a gumball machine in your location. I've seen them in other banks, and you know, especially banks with like wait time for customers. It's sometimes it's nice to have a vent, uh, like a quarter gumball machine. So I was interested if you guys would want to have one in your location. Um, I would actually have to check to see. We would need approval for that. Okay. Um, just because we have marking guidelines and everything that we have to, to work through. Yeah, since you guys are a franchise, okay. Will? And what organization would this be for, Will? Okay, so it's actually like a personal business of mine, but I do pay like a commission to either the business or to a charity. So I pay like a 15% commission to the business or a 15% commission to like a charity of your guys' choice. So it's a little bit of okay. both. Yeah. Yeah, and what's the best phone number for you? Uh, 262. Okay. 492. All right. I'll have to Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, I'm just trying to get an idea of how it is. Like with franchises, they have to ask like the franchisee, right? So, um, so we're a corporation. Okay, we have you're not a franchise. Multiple okay. Multiple locations, and mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, we have to ask and get approval. Okay. Before we can put it or agree to anything. Yeah, great, awesome. So uh, just let me know if not, you know, you don't have to call me back or anything like that. But I appreciate your time. So thank you. Okay. Yep. Bye. Okay. So now I know 100% that pretty much for all businesses that are like franchises or corporations, don't actually like try to pitch them for vending machines. It's really difficult. You have to go through a super like long approval process, which that's what I'm guessing this would be. So I'm just not going to call those types of places anymore. I just wanted to know how it is with banks because I've definitely seen like gumball machines in banks before, even if they are corporations or franchises. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue with one more call on the video today. Okay, so the final place that I'm calling is an automobile repair shop. I've heard these are really good for like gumball machines or places like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and see if they're interested. Hopefully they are. I've only gotten like one maybe and the rest knows today. It's been kind of a rough cold call session. Uh, hello, my name's Will, and I was interested in speaking with either an owner or like a manager here. Well, yeah, hold on. You have to talk to Steve. He's on the other line. Can you hold, please? Yes. Thanks for holding, Mrs. Steve. Uh, hello, my name's Will, and I'm actually curious. Would you guys like a vending machine in your location? I've heard that they're super good for like auto places i know it's like you're thinking like a big vending machine it's just like a small gumball machine like they don't take up much space at all and if you have like any interest i can drop off a flyer later today no we're we're good okay so you're not interested in it no okay well i appreciate your time uh thank sure. you okay bye yep bye 
Okay, so he wasn't interested at all. Uh, that's kind of surprising. I thought they might actually express some interest in it. The only, like, maybe I got was the first cold call I did today, but it's definitely a grind trying to find vending machine locations. I've been doing it on my own, not just on camera, but it's it's been going just like this. It's definitely difficult. Maybe it's just really hard in my location, but I like that you guys are seeing the entire journey because it's not just upside when it comes to being in like any business. There's always downside. It's not always easy. It's, there's always rough patches, especially when you first get started. I'm never going to give up with this. I just want to get a location so I can make awesome videos for you guys about growing the business. So with that all being said, guys, I think that's going to about wrap it up. I'm probably going to drop off the flyers off camera and I'm probably going to do a few more cold calls on my own. I'm hoping to close a location this week for you guys, which I'm super excited about potentially being able to do. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching to the end. Please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the Financial Wolf channel to be in the first 2,000 subscribers.